Countdown to the Tony Awards has begun. The nominations for Broadway's coveted prize were announced last week. This morning, CBS 2's Dana Tyler talks to some of the nominees, starting with the musical with the most. Discretion is the only way that love survives. The comedy A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder tops the Tony nominations with 10, including nominations for both lead actors. Tony winner Jefferson Mays plays eight different characters. It is a marathon. I mean, I think, I think it's more athletic than artistic sometimes, and so much is, of it is, of course, done to me. You know, I hurl myself off the stage, and then I'm set upon by four muscular and determined people who rip my clothes off and put me into an outfit and shove me back onto the stage. Chasing him is the gentleman murdering his way to a family fortune, played by first-time nominee Bryce Pinkham. It's a huge deal. There's a little, there's a little um, kid inside of me do, just doing backflips, you know, all around the halls here, just because these are the moments you dream of to help get you through the harder times. Hedwig and the Angry Inch, starring Neil Patrick Harris as a German transgender performer, is up for eight Tony Awards, including a nomination for Harris and the actress who plays Hedwig's boyfriend, a Croatian drag drag queen. Lena Hall says her family is thrilled. My mom and dad, they were just like, we've always wanted a boy. <laughs> we always wanted a son. We're so proud. <laughs> the drama about men dressing up like women and finding solace at a Catskills hideaway is up for four Tony Awards. Four-time Tony winner Harvey Firestein is nominated as playwright of Casa Valentina. It's like giving voice to a community that's never had a voice. You know, these people, nobody even knew they existed. I didn't know. I thought I knew a lot about our community, but um, I really didn't understand this heterosexual transvestite community at all. Five-time Tony winner Audra McDonald nominated for her portrayal of jazz singer Billie Holiday in the play Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. But what does she care when a woman loves a man? It's a big challenge to try and get an audience to come with me and believe that I am Billie Holiday and singing for them with no fourth wall, talking to them the entire time. Walking through them. Walking through them, smoking in front of them, drinking, falling down. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Best Musical Actress nominee, Adina Menzel, stars in If Then, a story of chance meetings and the choices we make. The 2004 Tony winner says that slip up on her name at the Oscars had an unexpected embrace. It's also made me so grateful for the fans that I had that became, you know, so outraged. I realized, oh wow, there really people are out there that actually really care about me and support me and wanted my name to be said correctly. Playwright Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun is up for five Tonys, including one for Tony winner Anika Noni Rose. That was what one human being could do for another. The story of a 1950s African-American family trying to buy a home in a white Chicago neighborhood is nominated as Best Revival of a Play. I think it is uh, a tribute to Lorraine Hansberry. I think it is a tribute to her genius and her ability to put her finger on truth. Um, and it is a great honor to be able to keep that alive and viable and available. Beautiful, the Carol King musical is nominated for seven Tony Awards, including feature actor and actress, first time nominees Jared Spector and Anika Larson, who play King's songwriting friends. Yeah. It's overwhelming. Yeah. Is it? Oh, gosh, Quite. yes. Gosh, yes. It's, um, uh, I dreamed of the, I mean, I, I was obsessed about the Tonys when I was little. To think that I'm part of this community now, never mind, like, nominated. A dream, too, for actor James Monroe Iglehart, a self proclaimed Disney nerd, and now Tony. Tony nominee as Genie in the new musical Aladdin. This is everything I wished for and prayed about and thought about when I was in college and now here at Final Years it's like wow this is amazing. Your wish came true. Yes, yes, my wish got to come true finally. In the Bridges of Madison County, Kelly O'Hara plays a farm wife faced with a second chance of love with a stranger. This is O'Hara's fifth Tony Award nomination. Of course I'm honored to be nominated. A huge sigh of relief. But if I ever won, I would like for it to be this one because I feel like I already have. So it's just, um, that's how I feel this year. I, like, I couldn't get any better, but if I did, oh, I might explode. <laughs> The nominees find out in five weeks. Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News.
such incredible voices. For a list of all the Tony nominees, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. And don't forget, you can see the Tony Awards hosted by Tony winner Hugh Jackman from Radio City Music Hall on June 8th, right here on CBS2.